Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you another awesome gargoyle figure. Yes. And this is Hudson. Yes, this is the Hudson Ultimate Action Figure. So really cool um, packaging on the front there. It looks like it's snowing. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open it up because this has like the window. Yes, the window box so you get to see the figure before Ooh, you. And some really cool Hudson. artwork. On yes. the other side of the figure. So Very cool. The figure and... and so it looks like he's going to come with an extra head sculpt and two Some and a half. Swappable hands. Yeah. And of course his tail and a... the um, and a sword. Awesome. So yeah, like a total of five swappable hands. Look at those feet. Yes. Woo. All right, let's turn it around and see the back of the box. Oh, some cool artwork on the side as well. Yeah. And yeah, I'm really the loving back. this line from NECA. Um, so this is like the, I think the fourth gargoyle we've done. Ooh, and then there's some look. more in the line. So we were on the lookout for this one for and them. this one. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and that one. Yes. Okay. Um, so we've done, I thought you had said we had done three or four. Yeah, we did. We did Goliath, uh, Demona, Bronx, and, um, there's one that's not on the packaging. Oh, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get Hudson out of his box and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And here's Hudson out of his box with his wings on. Yes. Whoa, look at that wingspan, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so he barely fits on the on the camera screen with uh, with all of his wings like stretched out like that. Let's take a look from the back. Ooh, can you see all the textures and details? Very, very cool. So it does look like they're articulated a little bit. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, they just peg into the back. They're not attached when you take them out of the box. Whoa. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Now I'm going to show off his um, extra accessories or pieces that he comes with. So he's got five different um, hands. Let's see. He's got some gripping hands, like really totally gripping hands. Look at those nails. And then... He's got some... He can hold his own hand. Like these, yeah. Like claw hands. These two are identical, looks like. Um, and then another gripping hand. And then this one, which is like a little bit wider of a grip. Which is kind of all by itself. So, very cool. His um, weapon should fit somewhere. Yeah, it's... In, oh, it's, it's on, on him. It. Okay. In one of these hands is what I was going to say. Because yeah. he has closed fists on right now. And then here's attack face. Yes. So Mr. take a look Angry Eyes. at that facial sculpt. Pretty cool. There's the hair on the back. So, awesome. All right. Now let's take a look at, well, his tail. <laughs> there we go. We're going to bend his tail to the side so we can take a look at the detail. There's the other facial sculpt. He's got his bottom teeth out over his top lip. <laughs> and his beard looks really cool coming down like that. And look at those eyebrows. He's got the cool gargoyle ears, which kind of mimic the wings. And then he's got um, shoulder plates there for protection. Um, a big Santa belt there. And the little end of it is kind of like sticking out right there. It kind of looks neat because it's kind of folded. I don't know if you can see it, um, that camera angle. And then, of course, his... Um, weapon is right there tucked into his belt. He also has these little like arm gauntlets and then some really cool things wrapped around his shins there for protection. And then there's his awesome looking claw feet. Look at that. Woo! I want to give that guy a pedicure. And there's another <laughs> one claw on the back. So I'm going to turn him around. You can see the tail um, will bend. has a wire in there so it will bend as well to help him stand up and everything he's got some gold back here going on but he looks really cool he's very big <laughs> yeah I, I was i was a fan of the show growing up so seeing them do such a great job in bringing these uh characters into figure form is really cool all right so you're going to show off his articulation you may okay. have to remove the wings after a while to get <laughs> in the shot yeah, actually the wings, if we kind of start there, uh, the wings peg in so they can kind of go down or up and they will kind of go out as well. 
depending on how you want to pose him, if he's flying or more relaxed. So very cool. And then of course the tail um, will uh, is articulated as well. It will kind of go up and down to a certain extent. And then it has a wire in it so you can um, pose it in different positions. So then if we start at the top, um, he is going to have articulation at the neck. And of course his hair sculpt will uh, impede it some, but it still will go back and forth. Uh, he has articulation at the shoulder, and of course it will extend as well as rotate. The uh, His shoulder guards are attached um, in the back here so it doesn't impede his range of motion. He also has the bicep swivel, the uh, double elbow, and then the dual wrists so it will bend as well as twisting. He has two points in the torso. He has one actually at the waist you can see and then of course one mid torso so you can give him more uh, twistability in the torso which is cool. Uh, he also has articulation at the hips. He has the knee articulation and then of course the haunches will have a couple so this is would kind of be like the ankle and of course it will roll as well as pivoting and then he also has the what would amount to toe articulation so very cool I'm really glad to add Hudson to our gargoyles collection all right so there's one last look at at Hudson from Disney's gargoyles so thank you so much for watching as always come back and see us like subscribe and we will see you next time <laughs>